Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Talk. Join with me here today is my Bruski Raristo Rarateka. Well, go on. Oh, all good, brother. How are you? <laughs> now I'm easy, boy. I'm yeah, easy. yeah, yeah. So there's a lot we're gonna be speaking about. I a lot, and of course you've mentioned um, you know that you don't subscribe to religion. Religion. Yeah. And we're gonna deep that a bit, and we're gonna unpack a lot of that. So, so I can't wait for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but before, we're going to do an icebreaker. All right, nah? cool. It's a song association. You know how it goes. Uh, just uh, run me through it a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to say an, uh, uh, a word, and you need to sing a song with the word. Okay. okay. Yeah, simple enough. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah. Sure. So, I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, okay the first word, word is, is love. love. Who would... Oh, no. That doesn't have the word love. Um, you've got it. You've got it. Damn. Oh, guys, Kalebang I, I don't. I don't even know the love of boys songs like that. Let's, okay. let's say next. Let's oh, say yeah. next. Pills. Pills. Uh, pills and potions. We're overdosing. Yeah. Let's go. The next one. Shady. 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 Uh, hi, my name is Hi. My, my name, name is, is Hi. Tiki Tiki Slim Shady. Shady. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the last word is Mudimu. Mudimu Rifile Silva Kaya Nasi. All right, you did well. But boy, Sarah's love, Dololo. I can't think of any, like, like nothing is coming to me, bro. That's crazy. Okay, that's calm. We'll let it slide. So, boys, and let's let's start at the top, ne? Okay, cool. Um, when it comes to identifying religiously or spiritually, what do you tell people? Um, I used to tell people that I'm more of like a spiritual person, which is true. I'm more spiritual than religious, right? Sure. And I subscribe to African spirituality in the sense that I don't necessarily believe that there is like a god mm. you know jesus christ the white man in the sky but i believe that um i i subscribe to my ancestors right so i believe that my ancestors are who look after me in this okay. world we live in and yeah that's that's what i'd say is um is is my faith however some people have come out and said that ah but you don't even like practice african spirituality so you can't say that you you know you're that guy so um now i just rather not say like i think it's just easier not to explain myself than to explain myself just because it's like complex and complicated for you for me yeah okay but do people say that because like you don't slaughter you don't like candles you don't light them yeah and also like my the way i live is uh you know i subscribe to earthly pleasures i you know Mm. i I don't really, I don't know too much about like African spirituality and all that. So I guess it's not fair for me to say that, but that's, that's what I believe in. Okay. Yeah. I get that. I get that. So then growing up, how was like your journey um, religiously? Religiously. Okay. So I grew up in a household where um, my mom, my mom and dad aren't uh, religious people. Like they, yeah. they are not like devout Christians or whatever. So for me, I discovered religion through school. When I when in in um in school, obviously you have your morning prayers, you have your little Bible sessions and stuff. Assembly. Yeah, that's where I first started to know about God, right? Mm-hmm. But I think for me, it was it was different than other kids because other kids, it wasn't their first time being introduced to God. It was a thing of they already knew God, and now it, they were just kind of continuing their journey mm-hmm. in school. Whereas I was learning, and so for me, it wasn't. It was, it was more of like a subject. I saw it as like a subject, like part of school, like, okay, we have Bible study now. We have morning prayer session, right? And as I got, as I got older, like in high school, I went to like a Christian school, right? And that's where like I started to learn about it more and I tried to like um, subscribe to Christianity, right? And I, I would say for a while I was like a Christian, right? But then um, I started to see like certain like, negative connotations of like christianity and i started to learn more like the history of of the church you know Mm -hmm. 
and for me i i I just didn't mess with it like that you know so uh, that's where i that's why i took the decision to like kind of do my own thing like i i i tried to i looked into like buddhism i looked into like um islam i looked Mm. into different other religions right and in the end i found myself really being drawn to like african spirituality particularly um that that originates in like ethiopia Mm-hmm. And now is um, has its roots in like um, Rastafarism and all that, right? So yeah, um, yeah, that's what I would say. And also another thing is like, even old, even though my mom wasn't isn't like a, a religious person, yeah. Yeah. she is like what Christian people would say is the ultimate Christian. You know, like someone who a woman who is like she's kind, she gives, she's you know, she, she just like she. She hardly sways. She never sways. Like I, I don't think I've heard my mom sway ever. You know, and so that that's also something that made me realize like someone doesn't have to be Christian to be a good person. And that's something that when growing up, I thought for you to get into heaven, for you to be a good person, for you to, you know, you have to be a Christian. And so seeing my mom being this woman who isn't a Christian and she has all those, these values of supposed Christian people, right? Um, it made me realize that, you know, I could, I could just do my own thing and still be a good person, still practice kindness, mm-hmm. still have values and morals, you know? That's interesting. Yeah, that's interesting. But even with that, like, in terms of you experimenting with other um, religions, how did that look like? Did you go to the mosque and pray? Did you seek a rabbi, ask them questions? Um, no, I think because I was so young and I was just kind of like experimenting, it wasn't that deep. So it, it, my experimenting came in the form of literature, you know, um, just reading and asking questions from um, people of, of those uh, said religions. Okay. And I think the, re- the, the main reason why I couldn't stick particularly to Buddhism and uh, Islam, is because in that, in that time, the lifestyle I was living was kind of rowdy. So I was like, yo, <laughs> you know, guys, not me yeah, sure. yeah, I'm not that guy. I'm really not that guy. So, yeah. That's big. And then what about Christianity? Then what made you... Because you did say that there was some stuff you weren't like, messing with. Mm. Um, do you mind sharing what that was that was like, actually, I... You know, I... I, I used to see a lot of like people who claim that they're like these like Christian people, they know God, they've you know, they worship God, but they would like have these like negative characteristics, like they would judge people, they would lie, they would, mm. you know, look down on people, you know, they wouldn't help people, they would like think holier they, they would like think they're better than other people, basically. Sure. And so I think that negative connotation it kind of like it, it left a bad taste in my mouth, you know? Mm-hmm. And also, you know how like um, we have these things where like all these scandals of these priests who in, in the Catholic church who like abuse little boys and do all these like messed up things, you know? And like the history of like uh, the church on like how the church used to like, you know, like um, basically steal the wealth of the people and like, use the name of God to enrich themselves and to abuse people and to steal and to, you know, yeah. do all these messed up things. So for me, it, that, that, yeah, that kind of just left a bad taste in my mouth and, yeah, left me like, mm, I, don't, I don't think I want to subscribe to that. And also another thing is um, colonization. Like, I feel like the Bible, the Bible came with the white man you know, there's there's a saying that goes that the white man came to Africa, right? Um, and with, with, with the Bible and a prayer. And when he said amen, he had the land and we had a Bible in our hands. Mm. So I think that's very deep. Like, yeah, I mean, if you, if you look at it, um, religion was used to colonize us. And so as someone who is like... Um, against colonization and i don't want to say the white man you know <laughs> yeah. but yeah like it's a bit wild yeah man. so all these things like i think just my my values and my beliefs 
kind of um, clashed, yeah, with so, what I saw. Playing devil's advocate, is there no way that you could have found a middle ground uh, for all of that? Um, what do you mean? So, for example, would be, um, how can I put it though? Like, in terms of your beliefs with the, the so-called white man, right, and colonization, could you have not divorced um, the idea of that and then subscribed to the teachings? Mm, I think that's kind of what I do. Like, I, I'm, not, I'm not taking away from any, uh, yeah. any like, I, obviously, all the, all the, like, the values and stuff, I hear that. And that's, I, I try to live by that. I try to be a good person. I try not to lie. I try not to cheat. I try not to hurt people, you know. Um, but I don't want to be associated with a religion. I'd rather just, I'm okay with people thinking, oh man, this is a godless person. But I, myself, I know that I practice what it means to be a good person, right? And that's beyond any religion can tell me or beyond anything can tell me that's just a humanly thing you know sorry as a human you know what is right and what is wrong you can feel it in your soul you can feel it in your spirit right and that's how i kind of live you know so i don't think i need to go to church every sunday i need to go to home sales every wednesday i don't need to do all these things for me to be a great person sure because i've seen people who do all these things and still horrible people Mm-hmm. They, 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 they go to church and stuff And they come back and abuse their families okay. Their families, you know what I'm saying Like, yes. so, yeah Well, that's interesting, bro That's interesting So then You say you gave African traditional beliefs a chance Yeah What got you into that? Um, just like things I was consuming at the time Literature, um social media tiktok you know um i'm i'm kind of pe- people might not know this but i'm i'm low-key a nerd i'm low-key a nerd and i'm a nerd for like certain like niches you know what i'm saying so uh i started like um uh, following this dude who speaks about like um african spiritualism and like just like where black people came from and like you know what what we subscribed to before the white man came and told us that you know you need to you know worship this white man in the sky da 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 sure. So yeah, I think that's that's where it started. And also, um, growing up, I'm like I'm 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 baby. I'm from Limpopo, right? And growing up, uh, there was a there was a time where I stayed with my grandmother for a little bit, right? And she would tell me all these stories about our people, about us, you know, about our people, about where we came from, and things like that. Yeah. And um, for me, those those stories like they really hit home, and I really liked the idea of having. Uh, ancestors who look after us and having all these like basically gods you know that are were, were once our people were once like our family you know mm-hmm. who, who take care of us you know and we i have uh we, we have like um gone to to uh uh the the makayas to like do all these like um rituals and stuff you know slaughter chickens all that stuff sure so for me i think and and you know at at the end of the day, um, if we really think about it, we were all kind of just subscribing to what we like to 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 like um, like the ideals that we like the most, you know, because okay. we really don't know what is out there. We don't know if there is a God. We don't know, you know what you know what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So for me, I'd rather choose the idea that um, we have. I have. I have ancestors who look after me. That's an ideology that I like to think is real and is, you know... Yeah, yeah, I hear that. That's what carries me. It's a tough one. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. But it's interesting um, what you're saying. But even with that, then, how is it then... How do you navigate then with either friends? Because I'm sure you have friends who identify as Christians or yeah. other religions. How do you move in those circles then as well? Um... So I, I like I like to associate myself with people who are open minded. Mm. So people who understand that I am a Christian, you're not a Christian, but that's okay. I see who you are besides like beyond beyond everything. And that's okay. I'm okay with you, right? If you're a person who you're like, Oh, you're not a Christian, we can't then 
you know we can't hang i guess yeah. <laughs> all right fez so is it that simple for you it's that simple like and also i i don't i don't like to get into religious uh, context because i tend to i mean religious conversations because i tend to offend people you know yeah, because i i ask really deep questions that you know make them question their faith but i think that's needed though yeah you know i guess so yeah because i feel like then if you are never challenged then how do you know what you're believing is something you truly believe in definitely you yeah. get what i'm saying yeah and, and i think that's why, that's why i also like, like i i hope i don't shy away from such conversations hence why i want to do the podcast thing yeah. and i'm inviting you here so that we can have those conversations that you know what there are people out there who just really don't subscribe to religion like yeah. that and it's fair but like the question is then why you know i think that's for me why like that's deep that why do you believe in that and how do you move past that even with everything going on so how do you then continue then remaining um or continue educating yourself about african traditional religion and the ways you want to go about practicing that for yourself um man i won't lie like bro life is tough most days i'm just doing what i can to get by but when i do get a chance you know i i like to dive a little bit more into like uh uh african tra- uh, like african spiritualism uh, tra- uh literature you know because that's that's where you're going to essentially you know um mm-hmm. learn the most and yeah that's pretty much it uh, i haven't really met any people who are like me or you know yeah. similar like minded so but then again i don't really like i don't engage in those conversations with out. like with you know what i'm saying yeah. i just kind of live so yeah I, i i i don't have something like you guys would have like like a church i don't go to like a church on sunday mm-hmm. where i learn more about god i learn more about this i learn more about that it's just it comes when it comes you know yeah yeah, yeah. yeah but they are like random conversations maybe 2 a.m at some like groove place where i meet <laughs> someone who's like like minded and they tell me more and i'm like oh my god that's interesting yeah okay yeah interesting so then you also say that um you you subscribe to spirituality mm. what does that mean okay so religion religion is is more i would say systematic okay and spiritualism is more um it's kind of like more um intuitive you 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 practice i practice what i feel is right you know i i go by feeling okay i don't know if that makes sense like um i'm i'm a, i i'm a person who feels i i think in this world i i i go by like feelings energy you know energy doesn't lie it, it has a little bit of like chakra boy level yeah. you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, yeah like, like i'm i'm, I'm big, big on energy, energy so like, like yeah I, i literally just go by that bro like energy energy mm-hmm. yeah mm, i get that but like what do you mean by a uh, feeling like you go by what you feel because i feel like that's a bit vague <laughs> that is a big yeah. my bad um, um how can i say let me say that um let me give you an example let's say if you and i were having a conversation right sure i would be able to feel your energy and according to that i would um give you or try and give you what i think you need in terms of maybe if it's like words of wisdom if it's words of encouragement if it's love if it's re- uh, affirmation you okay. know if it's advice you know what i'm saying yeah. whereas um religion is more um i hate, i mean it just sounds like i'm 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 biased but it sound religion for me sounds more like barking orders like the bible says this okay so be, be nice. nice yeah do this do yeah. that exactly okay. yeah you know not not judging people like understanding that we are all human and we're trying to like just get by yeah, yeah. you know what i'm saying and yeah so what's your biggest issue with religion in its entirety mm, my biggest issue my biggest issue is the the hypocrisy of religion oh. yeah the hypocrisy um yeah man like 
as I said before, like there's a lot of people who claim to be um, religious people, Christians, whatever it may be, but they their actions don't don't wouldn't you wouldn't think yeah, that man. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's mad. Is they um other religions you would maybe give a shot later on in your life, or are you content with like exploring African traditional religion religion as it is right now? Um, I think I think I'll definitely be uh, a Rastafari. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Why? I think I just I think those people, man, they just they gotta figure it figured right? out, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just such such a like a peaceful, happy people, you know. Faith. Yeah. I get that. And and also they one one of the the big things that they they practice is not eating meat, which, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is actually really good for humans. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but as humans, we weren't supposed to eat meat. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something that um, it feeds your soul. It's good for your soul. When you don't eat meat, it's good for your body. It's good for your soul. So then my question then is, why don't you start practicing it now? You know what, bro? I'm, I'm weak, bro. I'm not... Not the self-discipline. I love me. I love me some babies. I love me some. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm weak, bro. I won't even lie to you. Man. That's crazy. Yeah. So, um, unfortunately, we're gonna have to wrap it up now. Yeah. But one thing I like to say, especially when like I'm uh, marketing for Let's Talk, is let's have conversation about anything and everything. But for a moment, let's come together and pretend that we're all human. Yeah. Right. Not pretend, but like. Let's see us. Let's see each other like as as human beings, right? Because I feel like, as human beings, um, like you said it earlier, we don't have we don't have it figured out. If we're being honest, we're kind of just throwing punches in the dark and hoping for the best. Yeah. So, um, with that, like, what is something you would like to give off to the people out there um, about being a human being? About just you know. Maybe it's about somebody who really just doesn't know where they stand spiritually or religiously, and there's there's a word of encouragement you can give them out there. Um, I definitely say number one, forgive yourself, be kind to yourself, love yourself, love people. Um, don't be too hard on yourself. Like life is so random, guys. We're literally like on a flying rock in the middle of like a galaxy. Nothing, none of this makes sense. Like, don't, don't be too hard on yourself. Don't overthink it. Like, try and be happy. Be open-minded, you know. Um, it's okay to make mistakes. We're only human. That's, that's a part of it. Mm. And, yeah, man, peace and love. Like, just practice peace and love, guys. Like, it costs nothing to be kind to a stranger. It costs nothing to smile. It costs nothing to, you know, show love. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Rara, thank you so much, Bara. Thanks a lot, G. Thanks for having me. This was a dope conversation. Hopefully, we can have uh, other conversations on the podcast soon. Yeah. And we'll chop it up soon. If you really enjoyed our guest, Raristo, make sure that you comment it down below. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share. Give me a five star. And then tell me why you'll give me a three star or a 3.5, whatever it is. What Jaja. And then also, if you have any questions for Rara or for us here on the podcast, please do not be shy to let us know in the comment section. But until next time, thank you. Peace.